Um, I talked about uh, SS7 security issues. Um, SS7 are the, uh, is the backbone network of the uh, um, telecom operators. So um, every one of us has mobile phones in their pockets and um, they all use the SS7 network, signaling system number seven. So every time you make a call or send a text message or use the internet, um, messages are exchanged over SS7. And um, the problem with SS7 is it's really old. It's been designed in the 70s. It's been used since the 80s. And it has been vastly extended since then because now we have mobile phones and roaming and prepaid billing and so on, all this stuff. But uh, there's practically no security. So everybody talks about internet security and how we should encrypt our data uh, on the internet and so on. But nobody looks at uh, SS7 because it's uh, such a closed ecosystem. Um, but the thing is, it's been getting easier to get access to SS7 all the time because there are thousands of mobile phone operators now and um, thousands of other companies who, you, uh, who need access for it. And uh, once you have access to SS7, you can do all these things and you can, uh, can do them as it's a global network. You can do them from all over the world. You can track people uh, all over the world just by knowing their phone number. You can intercept their calls, their text messages and so on. People cannot do really, can't, can't really do anything uh, except turn off their phones because it's a network issue, right? So um, it's nothing that you can prevent uh, on your phone because uh, the network has to know your location, right? Because you want to receive calls and you want to receive text messages. So the network has to know your location. Um, so um, you can currently only, only switch off your phone if, uh, if, if you know your having a big secret meeting with somebody that your competitor shouldn't know about. Uh, switch off your phone before traveling to that meeting and so on. Yeah? Uh, but that's the only thing you can do and uh, the other stuff has to happen in the operator's networks. They have to protect against these attacks. Well, so I'm, I'm a member of Germany's KS Computer Club and um, we're always interested in the security uh, and privacy of data um, of everybody. So uh, um, last year we, we, um, uh, we heard of um, security issues or we wanted, to, we wanted to look at the security of SS7 because we heard there are companies uh, who offer tracking um, of people just by knowing their phone number. So we started looking into that and since we um, since we had SS7 access, we started looking into that and yeah, so we, we found all these issues and we, we, we then proceeded to talk to uh, network operators about these issues and they were, they didn't know anything about that, yeah, so, uh, uh, and, and they, they were shocked practically and they started looking, monitoring their networks and they said, okay, we're seeing a lot of tracking of people and Ukrainian operator has said they see uh, intercepted calls from a, a Russian network and uh, Southern European operator told us they see a lot of tracking of politicians' phones and so on and so on. And so um, since then, um, together with a friend, I founded a company um, and our goal is to uh, develop firewalls for SS7 uh, because apparently until now there are none. The vulnerabilities, uh, they were known to, to several people, but uh, it was always the mindset, um, uh, okay, you, um, it's a closed network, yeah? So only the operators have access. But nowadays, everybody can be an operator. So that's, that's really the problem. And as it's always with security issues, uh, also in the internet, as long as nobody says, that's vulnerable right there, there's, there's a data leak, something like that, nothing is happening because it's working. And so on, only if it's, if it's made public, um, then vulner vulnerabilities start to get fixed. Well, so in my case, uh, it's, the, it's the beginning for, for, for my topic. Uh, uh, it's the beginning of uh, security for telco networks um, because that's really only the beginning. Yeah? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the operators didn't think about that for, for, for decades or they, they didn't care about it because they said it, 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 was, uh, it was safe. So now everybody starts to realize it's not, it's not safe and uh, uh, there are entities having access to SS7 that shouldn't, shouldn't be having access. So now the operators need to start uh, protecting themselves at their network's borders. So and it's only the beginning of that.
in Germany people are much more sensitive about their, their uh, data but I think um, even the even people saying I don't care if somebody knows where I currently, currently am uh, that starts to change as soon as you see um, okay uh, at that day at that time you met with the CEO of that company met with the CEO of that company and maybe they're planning a merger because nobody announced that it was you, you couldn't read about that anywhere yeah and uh, so um, or you can find out if, if somebody is, uh, uh, I don't know, cheating on his wife or, or uh, husband, yeah, and, and so on. And I, I think, so if, if, if people start to realize that you can find out all these things, um, that we can all uh, learn all these things just from metadata, um, then they might start to care about that. So if, if you use encryption, end-to-end -end encryption, of course uh, an attacker can't do anything with the, if he intercepts your call. But um, in the case of tracking, it's, it's uh, not a solution, so uh, yeah.